Hi everybody, in today's video we are looking to win a skirmish with a spicy Shiana Stubby Hammerer's one turn kill combo blitz deck. This deck has been doing the rounds a little bit in the flesh and blood discord and this is my interpretation of it. This deck has the potential to bring someone down from 20 life to zero in one turn. It's quite janky but a lot of fun to play so here we go. This combo deck is built around a two card combo. The deck's namesake Stubby Hammerers and Force of Nature. The combo goes like this. You play Force of Nature and use your stubbies to give an extra one attack to all your attacks with base three or less attack. Then the deck is full of attacks that hit for three like Scar for a Scar Yellow, Belittle, Vigor Rush, Overload and so on. Hopefully our attacks will hit and because they're pumped by the stubbies we will proc Force of Nature and draw a card which we then play and hit their face with, which will be buffed by the stubbies, which lets us draw another card. And then we continue on and on and on until our opponent dies. Simple, right? Well, why are we using Shiana then, when we could just use Briar for Force of Nature? The main reason is redundancy. While one half of our combo is in our equipment, it doesn't do much if we can't draw the Force of Nature. So this is where Become the Arknight comes in allowing us to discard an attack action card to search our deck for a force of nature, effectively making Become the Arknight copies 3 and 4 of Force of Nature. We can also run Whirling Mist Blossom and Iris Specialization, which, if we can connect with it on a combo turn, allows us to draw 3 cards to keep our barrage of attacks going. For equipment, we have to have Stubbies in the gloves. For boots, we have Snapdragon Scalers, allowing us to give an attack go again, for chest piece, we're running Deep Blue, which helps us set the combo off. And for headgear is Hope Merchant's Hood, allowing us to unbrick our hands if we end up with a handful of non-attack actions. Our weapon is Talashar, the Lost Prince, the only generic weapon we can use. We have a suite of Null Rune gear for Kano, a tunic for games we expect to go long, and a Blood Drop Ricard in case you feel like using that for some reason. Our attacks include Belittles, Brandish, which can buff our Talashar swing, Enlightened Strike because it can buff itself, Overload, Scar for Scars, Snatches, a soul reaping, life for a life, push the point, vigor rush, whirling mist blossom, and flock of the feather walkers. We have some tricks and pumps with razor reflex and art of wars. Our main combo cards have become the Ark Knight and Force of Nature. Finally, the two Minoisms and a Gorganian Tome. And that's it. That is Shiana Stubby Hammerer's one turn kill combo blitz. I took it to a skirmish last weekend, so let's see how we get on. Yep, so let's roll for go first. Eight. Also eight, so let's roll okay. again. All right. Uh, five. Eight still. Yeah, five. Uh, I'll choose to go first. All right, uh, I'll play a Nimbalism into a Ravenous Rebel. Ravenous Rebel, okay. And we believe the top card is a Blue Captain's Call. So it's coming in for five, go again. Go again. four. Okay, so you take one down to 19. Yep. Pitch a blue captain's call to create a rune chant using the grass. Yep. And then I will swing with the Rosetta Thorn. So this is coming in for one plus two arcane and two physical. Uh, so I take five. Take five down yeah, to fourteen. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, down to fourteen. Okay, I will arsenal my last card and over to you. Okay. Oh, sorry. I I have uh, one embodiment of Earth from this from the rebel. Uh, okay, uh, please don't forget it in future. Okay. <laughs> it's sure. just a casual REL event. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, Gorganian Tome, draw one card. I'm going to play Force of Nature. Do you know what this card does? Yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to crack my stubby hammers. Then I will play Flock of the Weather Walkers, F Flock of the Feather Walkers. Mm -hmm. As an additional cost to play Flock of the Feather Waters, I will reveal a card in my hand with cost one or less, which would be a Whirling Mist Blossom. Oh, hold on. Have it, I right? have to pay for it, don't I? I'll pant. So I pay for it with a Whirling Mist Blossom, then I'll reveal a Razor Reflex. Oh dear. Okay. This has been a <laughs> very bad turn. Coming in, Tom? Four. And I create a Quicken Token. <clears throat> uh -huh. Okay, I will block for four using a uh, skull cap, grass, and eater iron beef. Okay, then I will spend my one resource hmm. to raise a reflex to give it plus three. 
Okay. So Any defense you? reactions? No. Okay. So down to 17. you're down to 17. It procs. I will draw one card off the top of my deck. Mm -hmm. I will end the turn with my quicken token. I will play a Sonata Arcanics, revealing three cards, and Twine Lightning, a Plunder Run, and another Plunder Run. So I have I will only be able to take the Entwine Lightning. Okay. Um, and I will deal one Arcane your way. All right, so I'm down to 13. Then I will play a Ravenous Rebel. Mm -hmm. uh, revealing the top card is an Arcanic Shockwave Raid. Yep. So I come in for four, go again. Okay, I'll take four, down to nine. I'll play a Force of Nature from Arsenal. Oh, you got your own. <laughs> yeah, creating an embodiment of lightning. Yeah, okay. The Captain's Call, taking plus two. I will play the Entwine Lightning, coming in for six. Go I'll again. Take six, down to three. Uh, down to three, that lets me draw a card. Okay. I will pitch a red to swing with Rosetta Thorn, two arcane, two physical. Oh, sorry, the Antoine Lightning has a second embodiment. I'll block with a two. Down to one. Down to one. Okay, um, I'll Arsenal and pass. Okay, all right. Push yeah, this, Art of War. Yeah. Sorry? No, too early in the morning, I could have finished, but I forgot. Yeah. Go oh, ahead. never mind. Okay, well, I get one last hurrah in him. Okay, Art of War. I'm going to pick give attacks plus one, plus one, and then banish a card, and mm -hmm. I will draw two. Second Art of War. I'll banish this card from hand, and then I'll draw two. So these are both plus one, plus one. Play Snatch for three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me think. We'll go this. again from the Quicken. Okay, I will block for five uh, using a Sonata. That's base two, plus two from the Embodiment of Earth, and my... Grabs, total blocking five. Okay. Uh, block's good. Uh, scarf for a scarf for five. Go again. I'll take the five down to 12. Okay. Pop my Hope Merchant's Hood. Draw the top card. I will spend my last resource to push the point for three. Uh, four, five, six, seven. And because I had one hit, I get an embodiment of Earth. Okay, I'll take your seven. Okay, you take the seven. Down to One, five. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, and then that's the end of my turn. I'll play a Plunder Run from Arsenal, and then I'll play a Ball Lightning, yellow. So it's coming in for five. Go again on hit draw a card. Then I'll have to block six. I will Lightning press it. Yeah, another... good game. Okay, thank Woof. you. Woof. <sighs> Never mind. Let's roll to see who goes first. Let's go! I rolled five, six, seven, eight. I got a seven. Right, I will play first, please. So let's draw four, let's start the game. Two, three, four. I'm going to play Become the Ark Knight as an action. So I will search for, I will discard a Soul Reaping and I'm going to find a card called Force of Nature. Okay, and I will put mm. it into my hand. You have to target a hero type at the beginning of your turn, right? Uh... Can we take a shortcut and just assume it's you? Sure, no <laughs> you're, you're the only right. valid target, <laughs> so I just become all right, a... All right. okay, no worries, no worries. I will Arsenal and pass. Oh, all right. That's interesting. All right, my goal, I will go with the Arcanic Shockwave. Okay. And I will fuse it with a Lightning Search. Okay. Coming in for four and one... Uh, one arcane and four physical. Does it have go again? Uh, there's no go again for now. Okay, I'll take five. Taking five? Yep. All right. Let's go straight to the major resolution, down to 15. I will move to the end. I'll arsenal, and yep, it's my turn. Drawing back up. Uh, I'm, sorry, getting an embodiment, too. All right, let's go. Right. I will start off by playing Force of Nature. Sure. Then I will crack my deep blue... Putting a card on the bottom of my deck. Gain three Gain resource. Three. I will then crack my stubby hammers. And I will attack with a scar for a scar. Because I have less health than you, it gains go again. So, so this is coming I, in for four. Four. I will block for one. And and yep, it's off. Just blocking one. Three. So you're down to 17. Force of nature yep. procs because scar for a scar has a higher base attack. So I draw a card. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh... Force of Nature only gets to draw if Scar for Scar base attack increase. 
Yes, it's coming in for four. It's a yellow scar for scar. No, yeah, it's yeah. buffed by one yeah. from the stubby hammers. Uh, no, yeah, uh, scar for scar is power four. Stubby hammers only works for No, this is scar for scar. Three, yeah. scar. Scar for scar, yellow, mate. It comes in for three. Oh, sorry, is, is it not clear? I oh, it's, say. it's blue. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it's a red. Scar for Scar. Okay, in that case... This is a yellow Scar yeah, for Scar, yeah. I have no idea. I thought, that's why I'm taking three in the first place. No, 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 man. Um, so wait, so it's a yellow Scar for Scar. This is a yellow Scar for Scar. Coming in for four because it's buff one by the stubby hams. I see. I get... I have a... Th I thought it's red. Okay. Uh... Okay. Hold on, huh? If that's yeah, the case... Yeah, I have a redo, you know what? Yeah. yeah. Just go ahead, just go ahead, just go ahead. Yeah, just, just draw. It's fine. Okay, so I'll draw my one card. Maybe, maybe let me know the, the color of the cut, yeah, the, the fun next one. Yeah, okay. So, okay, I'm going to pay one. Why? I'm thinking, why would you play the red Scar, Scar for Scar? No oh, bonus. mate, mate. So I'm going to play a red Belittle. So this is three, buffed up to four. And then I'll reveal uh, an attack action card with three or less yeah. base attacks. So I'll reveal a Vigor Rush. Okay, so Belittle is also coming in for four. Four buffed you, by the stubby. Was that you revealing again? Sorry. Was that uh, you Vigor revealing? Rush. Okay, sure. So now I'm going to find Minnowism. Okay, so I find a Minnowism. Yellow Belito coming in for four with your. Uh, that's so interesting. Uh, and you reveal a Vigorous Yellow, is that right? Yeah, Vigorous Yellow. Vigorous Yellow is also coming in for three. Okay, let me do a bit of math. Do some quick maths. Uh, yeah, I will say no blocks and go down to taking four. One, two, three, four. So down to 13. Force of nature procs off the buffed belittle. I draw a card. I will pay one to play a yellow belittle. So this is coming in for three. I will reveal the same vigor rush again mm -hmm. to find another minnowism. Okay, <laughs> so find a minnowism. Yep. This goes into my hand. So, we'll, so this one's coming in for three with go again. You still have four cards. You drew two Minoism. Yeah. So now there's two Minoism and one Vigor Rush in your deck. Uh, it should stop you from drawing more cards. Let's block this one. So you block out three, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll spend my last resource to play that Vigor Rush. So this is coming in for four because of the stubbies. Because mm. I played a non-attack action card, which is the force of nature, it gains go again. Yep. And you have three cuts left in hand, two minoism and one unknown. Can I just check the minoism that you revealed just now? What color peach is that? Oh, they're both blue. Yeah, they're, they're both, both blue. blue. All right. Yeah. Coming in for four with a Talisha swing, I guess, after this. Unless the last cut is an exude confidence and I'm dead. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll I just wish. go for it. Yeah, I'll say no blocks. Okay, so you'll take four. Four. Oh. Wow, very brave. I'm going to carry on surfing, so I draw a card. Okay. So I'm going to pitch one of the Minnowisms to play Art of War. <laughs> and I will give my attacks plus one, plus one. And I will banish a flock of the Feather Walkers to draw two cards. Um, because Vigor Rush hit, I will play... Push the point yellow. Okay, so push the point yellow um, is three base plus one from the stubbies plus two because this vigor rush hit. So that's three, four, five, six, and then Art of War makes it seven. No go again. No go again, but I do have my snappies available. And this is turn one. <laughs> I uh, got very uh, lucky. <laughs> yeah. Become the Arc Knight on turn one, and you become the Arc Knight it. turn one. Get my combo piece. Yep. Beginning turn two. Ah, seven down to five. You can snap, and you pitch one Minoism. So there's one Minoism left in your hand. You threw the flock down. So there's one more cut after this. I seriously doubt this. Hey, I think I have to commit to it because I have no choice and you get to draw a card if it hits again because of force of nature yeah so force yeah force of nature plus the art of war so yeah um I'll just double check the amount so it's three four five six seven yes seven ah oh, this sucks yeah I'll block a two um yeah I have no choice I'll block a two 
Okay, so attack reaction, I'm going to snap. Uh, allow me to, okay, just, uh, is there a window for me to play instance after saying I'll do my attack reaction and then? No, uh, no if I cast priority, you cast priority, there's no more uh, chance for instance. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. not to worry then. Okay, so you yeah. take... So do, you want to do, the, do you want to do it during your attack reactions? I don't think it will make much difference. So, because once once you pass priority, I pass priority, that means there's no reaction phase, it will go straight to the damage resolution. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is why I, uh, no reactions, I have no defense reactions, then damage will be five. Yeah, five. Okay, down to four. Yeah, okay, so I will crack my Hope Merchant's Hood to shuffle these two into my deck and draw two fresh cards. We'll start. This is such a sexy list. It is, it is quite the janky list as well. Okay, so two cards. Yep. I think I forgot the draw off this, but that's my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, that, that, that actually, yeah. Uh, big punt. Okay, E-Strike. <laughs> Put this card on the bottom of my deck. And I'm going to go tall. So this will be, um, this doesn't get the stubbies bonus, but it'll be five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is sick, man. You keep... Uh, so your hands got better. Yep. I think you got it. Because I can only block up to four. And then I'm coming in for eight. Yep. Oh, good game. <laughs> uh, I got tortured. <laughs> uh, I got tortured. Uh. Let's roll to see who goes first. Right, I got five, six, seven, eight. You got um. twelve. I got 12. <laughs> yeah, up to you then. Um, I will go first. You will go first. All right, excellent. Yep. So you're going first, so I get to draw yep. four. I'll pitch a warming gust wave. This is blue, so I get three. Kadachi for one. I'll take one. You'll take one? Yeah. Kadachi for two. Um, is it okay if I put the counter on tunic? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah sure. okay. Kadachi for two? Are you taking it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take two. So I'm down to 17 right. now, yeah? I think you'll be blocking this torrent for five. Uh, if it hits, it gets go again. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Floating resource? Um, zero. Zero cards in hand? Two. Two. You're going to represent a razor reflex, I can tell. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I will then arsenal a card. Oh, okay. Or arsenal this card. All right. All right. Then I'll pass it to you. Uh, then I get to draw back up to three, three more cards. To yep. I'll hit. I will go in with a scarf for scarf for three. Go again. I'll take the three. Okay, you take three down to seventeen. Um, then I'm going to Arsenal a card, and I will draw up to two. That's the case. I shall pitch a Hurricane Technique. This is yep. for two. So I cannot yep. Kadachi because the Kadachi is. Oh, Hurricane Hurricane Technique costs two. Yeah. Cost one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll leg tap for four. This has go again. I'll take four. Pitch one more. All right. Two, good, two pitches. And then I will play a Command and Conquer. This is for seven. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that's an ass. Yeah. How sacred is my card in Arsenal? Mm hmm. Uh, not sacred enough. I'll take seven. Down to six? Yeah, Razor Reflex. You also drop a Razor. All right. No, no, no. Yeah, I had a Razor in Arsenal. Okay. I'll be drawing up to four. Then I'll pass it back to you. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just going to have to do the best I can. I'm going to play Force of Nature. I'm going to play Stubby Hammers. Stubby Hammers, okay. yep. Crack Stubby Hammers. I'm going to play Belittle. So this is coming in for two as an initial. Wait, so I need to pitch three. a card to to pay for it. So I'm going to pitch a Flock of the Feather Walkers. Okay? okay. As an additional cost to play Belittle, I may reveal an attack action card with three or less... Oh, Base attack you from your hand, but and... yeah, I, I I boned it up actually because I can't. I'll okay, so this three. is coming in for three. I'll block Go with again. nourishing emptiness for three. Okay, you're blocked with nourishing emptiness for three. Yep. I just realized, yeah, red snatch. Okay, so red snatch, this is just coming in for four. Red snatch for four. Flick flick and then breaking skills for four. Sorry, breaking skills and the flick flick. That's for four. That's a yellow flick flick. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to. Break my snaps and use the last two resource to swing in for four. Yeah, I've, I've fucked up my combo. Uh, yeah, I will take this four. You'll take four. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. So you're down to 13. Yep. Yeah, my, my combo misfired. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, right, your turn. 
Um, my turn. I will pitch Rising Knee Thrust. This is for three. Yeah. Okay. I'll swing a Kodachi for one. Yeah. Take one. Down to five. Um, push the point. This is for seven because the last attack hit and I have plus one. Oh wait, no. I just realized. Oh, the last the last turn was misplayed. What last turn was misplayed? Um, technically your snatch should be for five, right? Not for four. No, no, it doesn't get buffed by the. Okay, so the snatch, right? <laughs> So Snatch has base attack four. No, no, um, Ira. Oh, it does. Oh, I completely right. forgot. Oh yeah. my goodness! Wow. I, I forgot as well until like I remembered I was Ira, and then you, we are playing a mirror. <laughs> so then my second attack was Snatch, and it was buffed, and then you only blocked it for Exaxes, didn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. mate. <laughs> but that being said, would you have let it hit through for an extra one if I did no. say it was for five? Um, I would have blocked with my mask. Actually. You would have blocked with mask, yeah, of course, because yeah, like yeah, yeah. drawing drawing two cards off it is just too dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah I'll, right. I'll, I'll I'll give you mask now. That's fine. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, because I think that's the only turn that it came into play, right? That was the only turn that I played too. So I'm gonna block one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. I shall snap it. Yeah, you snapped for go again, right? And then I will give you another Kodachi for one. Yeah, I take one down to four. Alright, then I'll remove Tunic Resource and I will go with Torrent for 5. Block 2, I'm down to 1. All I can do is just draw back up. Yup. And now you got me in a Kadachi lock. And... Yeah, Kadachi, Kadachi, and then you got some attack. That's greater than 3, haven't you? I have a flying kick for 7. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, I'm yeah. dead. I got Gorgonian right. Tome. Oh, oh my. Yeah, it doesn't G block. GG's, man. GG's. <laughs> So let's roll to see who goes first, yeah? Okay, so I roll an 8. I roll an 8 too. Okay, so let's roll again. I roll a 9. I roll a 3. Okay, so I'll go first, please. Right, and let's see what have we got. Okay, alright, so I'm going to start off by playing a Belittle. I will pay for it by using a... Whirling Mist Blossom. As an additional cost for Belittle, I may reveal an attack action card with 3 or less base attack from my hand so i'll reveal an overload how much okay. is coming in for uh this is coming in for two with go again and i get to search for the i get to search for a minnowism which is do i want to do that actually okay i'll block off with reef off you know actually i revealed you the card but i'm not going to search for it anyway okay. sure no problem yeah okay great um so you're going to block with weave earth uh, yes. Then I will follow up with an overload. Cost zero has dominate. If it hits, it gains go again. I uh, will take three. You'll take three. Cause it hit, you gain go again. I will arsenal my last card and pass. All right. I will drop it up to four. Uh, Tunic counter up to one. I will play E-Strike. I will give it go again. So E-Strike for five. Yeah, okay, I'll take five. I will use Antoine Lightning, not fusing. Four. Yeah. And I get one. Em I trigger one embodiment of uh, due to E-Strike. So Antoine Lightning for four. I'll take four. Uh, you're down to 11. I will yep. have two embodiment, embodiment of earth. I will ask and pass. Okay, all right. So my turn will be, I will play Become the Arc Knight. So I will discard a push the point and I will find a Runeblade non-attack action card. Okay, sure. A Force of Nature. Uh, this will go into hand. Then I will play Flock of the Feather Walkers for three. I will pitch a Scar for a Scar to pay for it. Okay, as an additional cost, I reveal a card in my hand with cost one or less. It will be the Force of Nature. I create a Quicken token. Okay, I'll block for four. You block for four, okay. Because of embodiment trigger, I get plus two. Yes, of course, that's fine. So I will draw three cards. I'll play Entwine Lightning. Okay. Fusing, Electrify Red. Okay. Okay, so four, go again. Yes, I'll take card. four. Okay, uh, I have one embodiment of Earth. Okay, next I'll play Exo Confidence for yeah. four. If you don't block with greater attack than Exo Confidence, you cannot play Defense Reaction. Okay, I'll block with Soul Reaping for 3. For 3, yeah? Mm. Okay, uh, I will play Razor Reflex. Pitching off with uh, Electrify. Okay. Yeah, so it's coming in for 7. So I take 4. Down to 3, and Bonnie Moore will trigger. Okay. I will pass. Okay, so my turn, I will play a Force of Nature. And then I will pitch a Force of Nature to play Art of War. I will banish an attack card from my hand to draw two and uh, give my attacks plus one, plus one. Sorry, I should have said. So then I will crack my stubbies. I will scarf for scarf for five. 
Go again, it has right? go again, but then the quicken token also gives it go again. Okay, I'll take five. I'm down to 12. Okay, because its attack is greater than its base attack, I get, get to draw, draw a card. card. Okay, I'm going to crack my Hope Merchant's Hood. I'll shuffle my deck and draw two cards. I will spend one to Vigor Rush. This is coming in for five with go again. I'll take five. Okay, I'm down so to I've seven. taken... I have taken ten. Three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Um, because these two happen, and because I'm a copy of Briar, got two embodiment of Earth tokens. Because it's greater than its base uh, thing, I get to draw a card. Oh, wait, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, it's quite, you distant, distant, sorry. Yeah, you get to draw. I do get to draw, because the Force of Nature, Art of War, because it's greater than its base, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. All right, I will Enlighten Strike. I will put my last card on the bottom of my deck. And the mode I will choose is I will attack for eight. Eight, huh? So yeah. basically, no go again in my am I right? Unless you crack the. Unless crack I the... crack my snappies. Yes. So it's eight, huh? Eight. Four. Six. Seven. Okay. So I will crack my snaps then. Okay. To give it an additional. So it, it, the eight, it will, the one damage will go through, yeah? Yes, correct. Yeah. I'm down okay. to six. So you're down to six. I get to draw my one card. Then I will play, because I'm on three, scar for a scar, three, four, five, go again. I block for four. Okay, so again, one more chip damage goes through. So I draw one card. I will arsenal pass. All right. Okay, so I've got two embodiment of earth. What you okay, do? I will play ball lightning. Uh, red ball lightning three or five uh three or four yeah I'll block two then you take two. Oh, because oh, if no. it connects four 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 i'll take two yeah down you take one. two down to one okay uh i will snap i will resetta you for two and i'll block it for another two okay can resolve then i will pass so i will play minnowism i'll crack my deep blue Put this card on the bottom of my deck. Got three. Then I will belittle. Four. So this is coming in for four. Go again. I'll block for four. Okay, great. Because uh, it has go again, I'll spend the last two resources to swing in with Talishar. Four. For four. For four or so, huh? Give me a moment, yeah. huh? Uh, I will block for two. I'll take oh, you two. Block two. You take two, you're down to three. Yes. All right, I think this is game. I will pitch for one rune chan. I yep. have one floating here. Then I will snatch for four and one rune chan. Yeah, so just the arcane damage does me. All right, good game, mate. Yeah, good game. So I showed four matches, and out of those four matches, we went one and three. The skirmish itself had six rounds, and one my opponent conceded before we could play, and the other was against a Kano with a very, very bad microphone. So I'll save your eardrums from that. But I've also uploaded an unedited stream as well. So if you're really curious, you can go check it out in that one. And what can I say? We did it! <laughs> Our second opponent did not respect the hammers enough, and we managed to get them from 20 to zero in the space of a single epic turn. We drew really hot, and they were very unlucky with only having two blocks in hand and a lightning press. For that, Belittle is definitely MVP. Being able to reveal a card, get the Minnowisms in, and then being able to cash in those Minnowisms for useful cards using the Hope Merchant's Hood was absolutely fantastic. The other games, well, the deck can be very hard to pilot. And you can see two of the games I just tried to force the combo when there was no chance of being able to pop off. Or I have cards I couldn't combo with. And so those games just collapse spectacularly quickly. The final Briar match was much closer. With us being able to do a respectable 12 or so points of damage in one combo turn after they aggressively blocked us. That game could have had a considerably better line in that. In the first turn, I should have searched for the Minnowism instead of declining pitched it to swing with a Talishar, and then assuming the next turn went the same way, I would have had another Talishar swing to threaten lethal. But hindsight is always 2020. Some changes to this deck would include just cutting all these four attack cards. Even though they're really good, we really need more sweet three attack cards, or even a lesson in lava. Imagine a big sweet combo turn where you finish it with lesson in lava, and then the next turn, your opponent would get burnt out by having the second lesson as your top deck. 
Overall, the deck was a lot of fun to play, and while difficult to pilot, and you'll sometimes just brick out by not drawing your combo at all, it is really sweet and surprising to be able to deal a boatload of damage in one turn. Is it worth buying a Shiana for it? Most likely not, but it's very fun, and if you happen to have a Shiana and want something really spicy to bring to your next Blitz Armory, I highly recommend this list.